What's going on everybody? I am especially excited because I finally found something that has been on my game room wish list for probably two or three years now. I finally found a backwards compatible PlayStation 3 and not just online but out in the wild. When it comes to collecting, especially older tech, you can go on eBay and find whatever you want, but it's going to cost you. And it also takes the sport out of it, which is one of the things that I really love. Well, that and saving money. So when I'm out deal hunting, I use Facebook Marketplace, I use LetGo, I check my local thrift stores, um, and any of my local like you know, music and video game stores that deal in used merchandise. I really enjoy the thrill of the hunt, and I enjoy finding the item that I've been looking for for a long time, and of course, saving money. In this instance, I had both. So let's break it down. What exactly do I have here? This is one of the original PlayStation 3 models, also known as the Fat Model, uh, because of the other iterations after that, they kept getting smaller and smaller. And the serial code for this one is CECHB01. This came out alongside the A01 model, and the difference between the two is the A01 was a 60 gig model, and this one was a 20 gig model. When I say was, it technically still is. In addition to the larger hard drive, the A01 had uh, a front panel that lifted up that had support for uh, memory cards and things like that. It also had a chrome finish across the front where the Blu-ray drive was. I said was again. It still is. It's still on there. However, what the two had in common is what really makes it special. So in here, on its motherboard, is not only everything that you need for a PlayStation 3 that you would expect, but it also has all the chips for a PlayStation 2. That means when you take a PlayStation 2 disc and you insert it in here, it plays that game as if it was on the original hardware because essentially it is the original hardware. The hardware that's in a PlayStation 2 is in the hardware on this system. You don't have to worry about compatibility, you don't have to worry about emulation, you don't have to worry about any of that. The E01, a slightly later version, did rely some on emulation when it came to playing uh, PS2 titles. Uh, so in my opinion, I see that one as a little inferior, despite the fact that it had a larger hard drive compared to the B01, which is this one here. There's a couple ways to know if the PlayStation 3 that you're looking at is backwards compatible. One is just the serial number in general, A01 and B01. And the hardware accelerated one, you know, the emulator, was E01. But again, we're not going to worry about that one. Uh, the other way is the hard drive size. The A01 was a 60 gig and the B01, 20 gig. And the third and last way, and this is something that I don't know if everyone knows, on the very front, you're going to see four USB ports on the version that's backwards compatible. All the other versions that came after that only had two. So how did I get this one? I actually found it at my local Goodwill. I was walking through, seeing what they had. There were only a couple consoles on the shelf and I saw this one. First thing I saw were the four USB ports and I remembered, I thought, oh, this has gotta be it. I checked the serial number. I was so happy when I found it because I did not have when I have plenty of PlayStation 3s. I have one hooked up to my desk right now, one of the slim versions, but I never had one of the backwards compatible. And when I saw that, when I counted those ports, when I double checked the serial number and I knew that it was it, I was so excited. I will admit, it is a little dirty. We are going to have to take this thing apart and clean it. And there are some scratches on it, but I'm going to buff this out so it's going to look really nice by the time I'm done. Um, and as far as the money I saved, that part is pretty much the best part of the story. So not only does Goodwill Tech come with, uh, you know, they have their little disclaimer on the back here. It says you'll get your money back if everything doesn't work. Uh, everything is usually a lot cheaper. So if you were to go to eBay right now and look up this version, the CECHB01, and then sorted by cheapest price, the cheapest one you would find with shipping on eBay right now is $175. And that's just for the console itself. No cables, no controllers, nothing. I was able to pick up this model with controller, charger, power cable, and HDMI cable with the 30-day guarantee on it that everything would be fine with my discount card for only $54. I got home so excited, showed my wife. 
She didn't say, why do we need another PlayStation 3, but you could kind of see it on her face. I explained to her what it was, and then I ran into our game room, grabbed a, grabbed a copy of uh, Soul Calibur 2, put it right in, and started playing. It was amazing. The only thing you have to do when you put in a game, especially if, if you haven't played it before, is you have to create a save file like the memory cards for PlayStation 2, because the standard hard drive that was in here versus the memory cards for the PlayStation 2 are technically different. So it creates a memory card style save file on the hard drive for your PlayStation 2 saves to go in. But that's it. That's all you got to do. Everything else is directly hardware accelerated from the main board. So that's it. New Game Room Edition. Great price. Fantastic deal. And like I said, probably too many times at this point, I'm just so happy with it. Do you have a backwards PlayStation 3? Are you looking to buy one? Do you like just using the PlayStation 2? Let me know. And uh, yeah, when it comes time, we're going to do a video of us breaking this down and cleaning it so you can actually see how to do that for one of these systems. Because if you do have one that you're still using, chances are it's probably dirty and you need to clean it up. But that's it for now. Thanks for coming by and watching this video, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See you later.